The 12th Asian Financial Forum 2019 in Hong Kong, bringing together more than 3,300 financial, business leaders and policymakers to examine issues in the global economy and regional business opportunities. We hope to give you the context and insights to help you prepare for the year ahead and to chart your way forward. Positive aspects for Hong Kong amid international trade uncertainties. By leveraging on our solid foundations and proactive policies, we could turn some of those global challenges into our opportunities. And our financial industry, which contributed almost 19% of our GDP in 2017. The first AFF plenary session examined the forum theme creating a sustainable and inclusive future, opportunities and challenges, with Hong Kong a key reference point. How do you generate growth but yet be both sustainable and inclusive? We feel that this collaborative approach will be able to ensure sustainability and inclusiveness. Hong Kong is one of the key financial markets in the world, if not the financial market. They have substantial investments, especially in services, as well as in manufacturing in Malaysia. The day one keynote luncheon speaker, former World Bank President Robert Zerlick, had insights on global economic trends and Sino-US trade relations, and spoke beside the event on trade challenges amidst a possible structural shift in relationships. The big guys can take care of themselves. The questions, Hong Kong, for example, has grown enormously because it's been part of an international trading system. And I think that's an issue we're going to have to watch in 2019. Financial innovation was a major theme at the Asian Financial Forum 2019, as addressed in a panel discussion on day one. I just moved to Hong Kong about three months ago. Center of gravity of finance is everywhere. It does not move. It's almost like the air we breathe. What attracted me to move from the US into Asia is the opportunity of being able to participate in creating an infrastructure. Startups and entrepreneurship were subjects of another panel discussion, including the impact of technologies with Asia and Hong Kong in the picture. Literally, we're on the cusp, in my opinion, of a huge sea change in the world that is being driven by technology. We all think that all the big technology companies have been built already, right? We've got Apple, we've got Google, we've got Facebook. What's left? You haven't seen anything yet. I think it's aspirational. I think that Hong Kong is the depot to the world, right? Hong Kong is the gateway in and out of Asia Asia is where the action is. Hong Kong is an open city, a city of tremendous vibrancy. Carrying through the message of creative and tech inspiration, the Day 2 keynote luncheon focused on the sharing economy and future awaiting financial services with comments beside the event on the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. I generally define the sharing economy as an economy that's based on access over ownership and decentralized peer-to-peer -peer networks of people connected through new technologies. The Bay Area has enormous potential to leverage the sharing city concept. PwC's just issued a, a report on developing a smart city concept within the Greater Bay Area. There's so many opportunities for Hong Kong. Hong Kong's got many advantages. Many of the things that you need to do, you need to pilot, you need to test, can actually be done through Hong Kong as a living lab. With a host of panel discussions, the FinTech Showcase, the AFF Deal Flow Matchmaking Session, the InnoVenture Salon, and more than 700 one-to-one -one meetings and other features, the Asian Financial Forum brought together ideas, business prospects, and a sense of the future. So I think people use this forum as a chance as the year begins to kind of get a sense of not only what's the cyclical growth or what's going to happen in monetary policy, but try to get a feel for 
the temper of some of the issues over time. This is extraordinary. So this is a world-class, world-caliber kind of forum that you're pulling together. I deeply appreciate the degree to which there's public and private sector here. I think that, you know, in terms of the shows out in this part of the world, this is the big show. The Asian Financial Forum 2019, platform for future opportunities.